you know, there are regional players in fish, there are some offline players, value-added players, upstream players, B2B players. Pankaj, tell me, yeah. six years ago, what sector was there in India? No, nothing was happening in the sector. Nothing was yeah. happening in the sector. Today, there is so much innovation at play. Even the imagination of it is so, so viscerally exciting. So, I think India ke consumer sector ki wo reality, India ke consumer ki wo reality bhi hamare liye bahut exciting thi ki yaar yahan pe wo opportunity ki aap consumers hmm. ke liye to value create hi kar sakte ho. But aap ek pure desh pe, ek puri economy pe, ek puri society pe permanent swadhisht impact chhod ke ja sakte ho. So you can yeah. you can be that you know lingering aftertaste. For an entire nation, by mm. elevating everything, right? I mean, how do you create value for consumer? By, by, just like Vivek said, our backend is so big, so much is unsolved. If you elevate it, then you will think that you know, Vivek and I will say that you know, hopefully one day this whole country will be sitting on the table and will say that there is a crazy thing. Amazing. A crazy thing that happened. And look, what did he do? Yeah, you know, talking about things, and eating food, and drinking. What did he do? I think that's the excitement. The mission that you have to bring meat to the forefront in the big conversation has is not just your mission it's become our mission also and i think that kind of power energy passion if we can find in entrepreneurs like yourself and the team that you guys have built that embodied that kind of mindset it's just mind boggling and Yes, da, we'll figure out that outcomes will end up to be good, etc, etc. But the journey itself will be fantastic and we're kind of seeing proof of that. Again, similar concept that it's a fairly large sector, but it's also a sector which has very huge problems. And if they get solved, it will result in a really amazing company. And when we look at companies like Tyson Foods in the US, which may have innovated like decades back, they are extremely large companies and that also have been built on the back of frozen meat not fresh meat yeah while india consumes fresh meat uh so that entire story and a segment was very attractive but of course that was not the only reason to invest that was probably the first reason why we probably met abhay vivek and i still remember we met you guys twice yeah uh, first time we did not invest in you guys the second time i realized how big a mistake we had made and uh, met you at the obroy after that obroy meeting i was very clear invest to karna hi hai and yahi karna hai and for of course the excitement of building what we are building but also we i realized that the journey with you guys will be fantastic and let me tell you whatever i thought the journey would be in terms of enjoyment of working with you guys I probably underestimated it even then. It is probably 10 or 20x better than what I probably would have un, uh, estimated at that time, and that's the amount of fun we've had, which is why all this nice food is there, etc. Fun thing, uh, diligence about uh, uh, your company, which probably stands out uh, uh, versus a lot of other companies. You guys are a food company. It's a delight to come and eat food to do diligence. मतलब इससे अच्छा कुछ हो सकता है. We go into board meetings and you all you're doing is food tasting. अब food खत्म हो गया. अब घर जाओ. ठीक है. Business तो बन जाएगा if the product is amazing and all you need to focus is on the product. So it was a very memorable time doing diligence with you guys. Not only on the business side but eating this beautiful spread of food that you guys had introduced and you were launching and we were eating all that food. I mean. It was just amazing. You know, like Vivek said, that there was no one moment where we woke up and said, "Okay, let's change the world today." But I think it was a series of small, powerful moments in our lives hmm. that sort of started giving birth to the mission. I, I remember when both of us were talking to our own families that this is what we want to pursue. Uh, I still remember my own father. Uh, you know, was a well-educated uh, man with a broad perspective and so on and so forth. Threatened to publicly disown me, saying that if you do this, then I will give it in a newspaper and I will publicly disown you. And when I asked him out of sheer surprise, "Why, Papa?" 
ही सेड तुम पागल हो गए हो ये तो उन लोगों का काम है तो किन लोगों का काम है अरे तुम भूल गए हो हम कश्मीरी पंडित हैं सर तो वॉट ही सेट दिस इज एम प्योर इफ दिस इज द लास्ट जॉब लेफ्ट ऑन दी अर्थ दैट वुड पे यू मनी वी वुड स्टिल नॉट टच इट विद अ बाजपुर and i think that was a moment you know hmm. where i realized that the problem in the sector is not building a big commercial brand so on and so forth the problem in the sector is to change the mindset i remember vivek you know and when he was trying to evangelize hmm. this idea in his house and he is a baniya right from chandigarh and he so Achha. comes from a so called what they called as hardcore vegetarian family i remember his uh, uh, relative saying and you understand punjabi saying that ਐ ਕੀ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਨੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੋਈ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਸ ਡਿਡ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਨਾਟ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਐਨੀ ਅਦਰ ਜੌਬ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਟੂ ਪਰਸੂ ਆਫਟਰ ਕਿਸ ਕੋ ਸੀਏ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਇਸ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਦ ਮੀਟ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਇਸ ਸਮਹਾਊ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਸ਼ੇਮ ਹਮ ਸਮਹਾਊ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ ਡੌਗਮਾ ਦ ਮੀਟ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਬਿਲੋਂਗਸ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਬਲੈਕ ਬੈਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਯਾ ਅਲੋਂਗ ਵਿਦ ਕੰਡਮ ਸੈਨੀਟਰੀ ਨੈਪਕਿਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਦ ਮੀਟ ਈਟਰਸ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਆਰ ਕਾਲਡ ਨਾਨ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਰੀਅਨ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੂਰ ਓਨ ਆਈਡੈਂਟਿਟੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਆਫ but somehow you know over years of conditioning the meat eater the meat industry started bearing the brunt of stigma taboo stigma taboo and orchestrated hmm boss it is the largest agrarian sector of india with the most massive consumption india is a protein deficient country and this is the status we give to the sector i remember uh, you know the first hire we wanted to make was you know a butcher now we call these people meat technicians or hr was just not able to hire and i remember going to one of the hypermarkets and you know picking one guy up and in my conversation with him he said after you know one year of licious he said sir meri shaadi hone wali hai so he got a wedding card to me and he was very happy to i said yaar mubarak ko kehta main aapko bata bhi nahi sakta hu why i am so happy i said batao why are you so happy of course shaadi hai shaadi he said sir ये पहली बार है हमारी बिरादरी में इन आवर कम्युनिटी दैट आई एम एबल टू वॉक विद माय चेस्ट हेल्ड हाई दैट आई वर्क विद लिशियस एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ इट आई हैव मूव्ड अवे फ्रॉम दैट सोशल डॉगमा दैट आई हैड इनहेरिटेड दैट नो बडी वॉन्टेड टू मैरी इन आवर फैमिलीज नो बडी वॉन्टेड टू सेंड अस टू स्कूल नो बडी वॉन्टेड टू यू नो मिंगल विद आर चिल्ड्रेन नो बडी वॉन्टेड अस टू गिव यू नो टू गिव अर सोशल सिक्योरिटी एंड हेयर इन लिशियस यू आर लाइफ आर डिफरेंट वी गेट three hot meals a day you know a beautiful crisp uniform to wear equal rights social security and above all respect yeah and and if you remember me and vivek even sort of fought hard with the board for you know getting our meat technicians our delivery heroes stock options in company that's amazing right? i mean tell yeah. me yeah. which company you know boss where stock options are with the bottom of the pyramid yeah these are the people who matter so in essence licious is trying to build what amul did for milk and dairy in india yeah right and i think that's a compellingly powerful uh mission to be on the kind of impact licious as a company would end up having on their on them their children i mean it's a extremely noble uh way of doing business and we as bertelsman are very proud to be associated with uh, you guys we share the the vision we share the mission whenever we go out and we talk to people about it in india and outside india we try to carry that badge with us so hopefully in a small way we can not only support you but be also brand ambassadors to you guys uh, in building this mission and thankfully and i have to thank bertelsman my my parent company that we are a balance sheet investor so we have the time and the yep. luxury to support you guys in building this because these type of missions do require time to yeah. build a massive company a big moment it is not a 5 year 6 year play it is a much longer play could of be course. a 10 year play and so on and i think as bertelsman we are very aligned with you guys uh, to build this uh, mission and we do hope you are highly successful it is the right thing for you it's the right thing for all the employees and the company here but it's more importantly the right thing for india Thank india you. needs companies like lishus and i'm so proud that you guys are building this by producing to a quality and always be exposed to commodity prices right so a movement like licious is not hedonistic in its own pursuit i mean the mm. thing that vivek and i are the the most happy and proud about is that after licious so many consumer companies in their own ways have started yeah in the sector now they don't have to be vc funded companies but the fact that 
you know, there are regional players, then fish, there are some offline players, value-added players, upstream players, B2B players. Pankaj, tell me, yeah. six years ago, what sector was there in India? The nation needs to see mainstream entrepreneurship. And believe me, the change will happen. Vishesh is very happy to be the flag bearer of that change. Yeah. But what we want is that the entire industry must elevate to serve the consumer, right? Because that's what Vivek said. Where there is a yeah. Namul, there's a mother dairy, there is a you know, uh, uh, there's the a Bakra and there's so a Bakra. So Yeah, so many, many brands, of the right? brands are coming. And so on and so forth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think that's the change we want to herald. Makes a lot of sense, guys. I, I spoke about this concept that listen, in, in our mind, making an investment is probably second only to getting married. We are not the type of investors who would uh, probably come quarter to quarter from board meetings. In fact, that's in my mind the most boring part. The fun part is to you know work collaboratively very well together with the founders to, to and the top management to build the company. We have realized that over the years, that concept has worked very well given what we want to achieve. We want to be close in helping build businesses. And if I were to then recall my journey within Licious, I do feel that we've been able to form very deep relationships. I have immense respect and uh, look up to both of you guys. So I think it's, it's the, the aspect of us building a deep relationship, which is a function of being as real as possible and not just being fake and business oriented, but doing what comes naturally to human beings and in connecting at a human to human and person to person level is in my mind the best way to work with anybody and I'm so glad that we've probably achieved uh, that with you guys. Uh, with you, I think we have been able to build a relationship of uh, trust. We don't like to be the fake, fake Abhayan Vivek. I think mm. uh, we like to be authentic because we get that authentic, that fair, that honest, uh, you mm. know, uh, that comforting uh, you know, Pankaj, uh, you know, when yeah. we deal with you. I don't actually call you and you know now, again, you know, yeah. referring to our long calls, which we yeah. do, long dinners, yeah, lunch yeah. meetings. Uh, uh, not treat, I, I have never treated you like an investor. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, is like, like a founder around, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, in, in our journey. Uh, you know, and that's why that it's relationship is like a friend. Is, it's like a family. Uh, that's 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 the mindset. And that, that is why that relationship has grown into snooker, badminton, yeah. food, yeah, and yeah. you know, much more. I think I, I think it has lot more life into it yeah. uh, than those uh, uh, boring uh, board meetings. Yeah. Uh, maybe many times I have called you that <laughs> in this board meeting support me. Uh, but I think that is that is that relationship has evolved into. And you know, what else you want as a founder uh, if you can get an investor who is a true friend. The good thing is that you don't allow the short term sort of vacillations mm. of life or business to yep. impact your mindset. And I think what that does is that then it gives founders the ability to connect with you more authentically, right? Yep. Because they know that you can pick up the phone and call a Pankaj in the bad times as well. Right? Yep. I think that's what the role of a true investor is. Kiar. In, a, in the worst of the times also we should be able to pick up the phone and say, hey Pankaj, you know what? Times are not good or whatever, right? I think to have that comfort, I think it takes a lot. And see, for me, now the one thing that you have done, boss, and I think that's is like because you like to meet humans in an out of office arena. You said badminton, snooker, meals, so on and so forth. For example, badminton, I know it is the first Bertelsmann uh, badminton championship that actually got Vivek to start focusing on his health and fitness. Oh, wonderful. Because Give me a high five. Yeah, because Amazing. he won that badminton competition. He won that, he yeah. He realized <laughs> how good he can be. And yeah. badminton became a permanent part of his life afterwards. Amazing. Where he is now every day invested in badminton. Now, Amazing. who would have imagined that yeah. one event, event quote unquote, can, huh. can, and so Vivek is better off with it, right? Yeah. So, that's the kind of impact you can have by having no agenda in life. Yeah. So no, I'm I'm very very happy. You know, in my mind, uh, and again, I've I've now been doing venture capital for almost now 12 years. So it's not been a very long journey, but it's not been uh, very short. Also, it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, what I realize is, uh, and a lot of relationships that I've seen between founders and investors, uh, they could be of three kind. The first is uh, the relationship is very transactional in nature, where if there's something very, very urgent, then you speak to that investor. Yeah. Or in some cases, even if in fact it goes wrong and I'm not going there, then you don't want to even pick up the phone of the investor or the founder. But that's, let's put that aside. We're not talking about difficult situations. 
the second one is listen uh, this is a specific set of investor uh, who i want to talk to in case things get difficult mm. i don't want to be either of the two i am very clear i want to be a person in case you are coming to town and you did come to town we will meet we will have lunch or dinner we will not talk about business at all yeah yeah we have done that many, we, have, we we have done it many yeah, and yeah, we'll go nice home yeah yeah and that for me is a genuine relationship where you and i want to meet each other to just come and have fun yeah. because we are family we are friends and yes beech mein agar 15 20 minute ka kaam hoga kar lenge yeah yeah of course but the objective of meeting is not work the objective of meeting is actually to have this amazing relationship and nurture it and so on uh, and i must tell you that even in a few companies where we have taken exits whenever i go to the city where the founders are we end up catching up nice it's a same relationship it doesn't finish so in my mind i am not even looking at a 10 year horizon of our relationship we are building friends i mean what amazing job that we have as investors where we meet extremely passionate individuals like yourselves we build a very deep relationship we work very hard for 10 years 12 years to build a business you might be uh, building it for longer period of time we might even exit but honestly the friendships that we end up building at that time should last a lifetime yeah. of course and that is the mindset and if you end up thinking that that i have to be abhay and vivek's friend for the next 30 40 50 60 years till i'm alive inke bachcho ki shaadi pe jana ha bachcho ki meri bachcho ki shaadi karani hai shaadi pe jana nahi hai karani hai then i can't be short sighted to do anything in life with you guys of course life is a long journey boss i mean i think what you're saying is and i believe now after hearing you ki more than venture capital this is more like adventure capital for you right so uh, that's the that's the fun way of looking at it i guess क्या पैसा कमा लेंगे पैसा कमाना इज नॉट दैट यू नॉट सेड दैट मार्केट इज वेरी बिग आई वांट टू बिल्ड अ डेकाकॉन एंड दैट्स नॉट द मिशन राइट मिशन इज टू चेंज हाउ इंडियंस परस्यू मीट दैट्स द मिशन ऑन द आउटसेट पैसा बनेगा यस बनेगा एंड ऑल ऑफ अस विल मेक मनी ऑल द ईस ऑफ होल्डर्स विल मेक मनी ऑल योर मीट टेक्नीशियंस विल मेक मनी एंड दैट इन माई माइंड इज अ बाय प्रोडक्ट But the core mission is something else, and that honestly drives us every day. And uh, of course, so amazing that we've had this amazing uh, friendship. I would say, good one. For the time being, I think India is large. Uh, hmm. We are in twenty uh, odd cities uh, in the country. Uh, we are launching categories left, right, and center. Yeah. from raw meat uh, this journey has now uh, you know traveling to food you know so how do you make uh, cooking amazing dishes at home how can yeah. you have more meal moments in consumers life how can you have actually uh, it's not share of the globe it is share of stomach yeah. is what we internally uh, mm-hmm. talk That's about that's a good one yeah तो यार इंडिया में एक ऐसी इंडिया का कंट्री जहाँ ह्यूमन वेलफेयर की बात कोई नहीं करता है ह्यूमन राइट्स की बात नहीं करता बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनिमल वेलफेयर राइट सो आई थिंक इट्स अ बिग लीप पीपल ऑफन से टू मी एन वे वेक यार आंट यू ओवर इंजीनियर्ड एंड अहेड ऑफ योर टाइम वैन डू डज द कंज्यूमर इन इंडस्ट्री रियली नीड इट बट लुक वी बिलीव दैट दैट्स द इनोवेटर्स कर्स राइट दैट्स द कैटेगरी क्रिएट इज रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट दे नीड टू सिंग सी थिंग्स दैट नो बडी इज सी इन आर मिशन टू क्रिएट मोर वैल्यू for the producers for the ecosystem mm-hmm. that allows us to directly influence and improve uh, the quality uh, of the entire supply yeah. chain uh, which can create mm-hmm. more value for consumers so i think in a nutshell more of the same with more mehnat you know and, and not getting deeper. not going deeper and not wider yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely and on the journey will surely ring the bell If you get a choice, choose Bertels Men. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very, very huh? kind of. No, you. no, but I, I, um, I really mean it, Pankaj. Yeah, uh, I think it is important. Uh, see, sometimes uh, founders end up just looking at money, but I, I tell you today that money also has color. You know, where it comes from, it is important. Don't shortchange hmm. uh, long-term vision. for short short term uh, uh, you know yeah. money thing yeah. so in the short term you go for don't go for the one who gives you the greatest valuation instead go for the one who gives 
you know, gives you the right value and adds the right value. I think value and valuation, yeah. well, they all start similarly, but they don't end up in the same place. I think the same who place. understands your vision uh, mm, properly, you know, and, properly and can and support you in good and bad times, right? Uh, yeah. I think that is very, if he buys into your vision, uh, yeah. you know, everything else will fall in place uh, 100% in, that in the long term. As you said, if the connect is very strong, if the founder, investor, vision alignment is very strong, then go with that specific set of investor and and somebody who has the ability to watch your back with capital, with other value add, etc. etc. That particular investor in my mind would be a good a good fit. And a lot of times that is not a good fit for Bertelsmann. And I would actually say no to some really good companies because I feel that listen. This is a company where it will I will not get very motivated enough to work very deep with them. But in other cases like yourselves, we are very, very motivated to work double, triple the effort in yeah. making it successful. And that makes a great marriage, that makes a mm. great professional marriage. Uh, you guys chose up because all the things that you just said, probably you saw that. Yep. Um, we are not somebody who's going to write a 100, 200 million dollar check. But we are also not somebody who will write very small things. We are somewhere in the middle. Uh, and money aside, the mindset of who you are working with, how that person adds value, how that person adds value not just by giving you great advice or correcting you to you uh, to two, two, three people, but also giving you enough space for you to execute the business yeah. uh, is in my mind very important. And we've had a fantastic relationship, and I do forward look forward for the next what 40 years, 50 years, 60 years <laughs> relationship together. Ah, we are alive. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Bilkul. 100. Yeah, this is this is a is relationship correct. for life. Yes. Yes. At thank this you. point, thank you very much, guys.